Hi guys, in this quick tip I want to explain to you two ways how to non-destructively crop image in Adobe Photoshop. Uh, Non-destructively means that you can reveal original image at any time you want. First way that I will show you is uh, using image canvas size dialog. Before you use canvas size dialog, ensure that you don't have background layer. So click on padlock icon to convert background layer to normal layer. Then go to image canvas size. And in this dialog, you can change dimensions of uh, your image. I will use percent as measurement unit and I will type 50% of width and I, li I will leave height at 100%. Okay, and uh, Photoshop will display a warning dialog. Just click proceed. And now I have a recomposed image and that's what we see. But behind the scene, I still have entire image. Uh, so, when using canvas size, you can use move tool, uh, just activate it, click on uh, image and drag. So, as you see, entire image is still there behind the scene. And if you want uh, to go back at any time, you can go to image and then reveal all. And that will display uh, image in original dimensions. Uh, second way is uh, using smart object layer. Let me go back. And when using uh, smart object layers, you can uh, convert background layer to smart object. I will use right click convert uh, to smart object. And now you can use, for example, crop tool to recompose image and uh, to crop it. But you are actually not cropping. You cannot crop uh, image which is converted to smart object layer. Now I will activate uh, move tool and same thing as with canvas size. Original image is still here behind the scene. So you can click on image and drag to determine what is visible or you can go at original dimensions at any time using image reveal all. So thanks for watching. Remember that you can uh, crop image uh, non-destructively using uh, canvas size and uh, by converting uh, image uh, or layers to smart object layer. And thanks for watching and uh, cheers.